Hi everyone and welcome back. We have another thrift with me and haul for you guys. This is actually going to be two quick parts. I have some store footage that I'll try and insert here and I also have some consignment store finds from my local consignment store that I got using store credit. First let's uh, jump back to the thrift with me portion in the store. little bit of footage there for you guys it's a little bit difficult for me to film sometimes in the store because I get a little self-conscious if the store is crowded and I don't want people kind of looking and um, plus it's kind of hard to do things with one hand while you're holding the phone but anyways um, here's my receipt I spent a total of $39.52 and um, yeah excited to get into the haul portion of it I have a couple of home items too that I found um, actually I can start with these so I found three of these for a dollar. They're these really pretty glass um, mirrored boxes and they have a gold uh, detail and they have a little chain so that it stays open without flapping over. Um, so I thought these would be cute to use actually right here, one of them at least um, at my shipping station to um, just hold like miscellaneous little things that I need, stickers and tape and stuff. Um, just to have on hand. And a couple of the others, I might use one on my bookshelf that you might have seen my decorate with me office video um, where I set up my office. So if you guys are interested in decorating and stuff like that, I'll link that video as well. Um, but I um, kind of redid my office and uh, decorated the bookshelves and everything and got all this art. I still have a couple of things to hang on the wall art wise, but anyways, might use one of those there. So the first item I grabbed, this is new with tag. This is Wild Fable, which is Target. They have white tags for anything that Target has directly donated to Goodwill, whether it's like customer returns or liquidated merchandise of whatever kind. I'm not really exactly sure how that process works, but they all have a white tag. They don't go on sale in my store, so they're never half off. I've sold Wild Fable leggings, uh, the faux leather leggings. Um, I'll try and put that on the screen for you guys. 
um, that just sold this week. I've sold Wild Fable jeans on eBay. I can put that on the screen as well. So, so far it's been okay um, in terms of a pretty quick sale um, and a couple of other Wild Fable pieces that I found in the bins or what have you have gotten still a decent amount of attention so far and some likes. So I expect those to sell as well. Um, but yeah, if I get, get them at the bins or for like a dollar or two, so I do have some of those in here. Um, but I do like to grab ones that are new with tags. So anyways, these are really cute. They're called the Highest Rise Mom Jeans, size two. And they have this really great distressing, this light wash, and classic five pocket style. Um, but yeah, this is my next piece. This is Cynthia Rowley. This is a size medium. It's 100% linen um, tank top. And then on the back, it has this like contrasting panel. This is not linen, but it's like a, just a poly blend just to make it flowy and a little bit more of a mixed interest there. Piece, this is an Emporio Armani. I had to look up the different Armanias because I know there's Giorgio Armani too, and this is just not, uh, I don't really deal with designers personally myself. Um, but anyways, I just thought it was really cute. It's silk, it has a zipper in the back, and it's just got this really nice button detail on these strappy straps. And um, I think because it was silk, that made me want to grab it. Um, this was, I don't think this was half off. I think this was $4. Next up is more Wild Fable Target. These are new with tag. I grabbed a medium and an extra large in this sweater. Um, these were $1.99. So I think it's basically bins pricing. Uh, and it has these mother of pearl buttons. And it's just this cropped cardigan. It's like this fuzzy fuchsia kind of fabric. Next up I have this other Wild Fable. This is a knit, uh, kind of like loose knit, kind of like grandma cord type sweater. So I'll try and use those kinds of words. Sorry about the lighting, but it's got these jeweled gemstones uh, for buttons and just kind of cute. And this is the same sweater as well as the, as the fuchsia one. This is just like more of a beige color and this one is a size large and this still has the tag barb in it so this is um, I'm gonna list this as new without tag um, because I know it was donated directly from Target and it still has that thing um, flow in there and then this one is Wild Fable as well again this one is just a little bit different with the cinched in front and I found model pictures for most of these um, which I think is great and again it's that fuzzy material size large and it has the tag barb as well so I'll do new without tag again on that one and then the last one is this uh lavender color cross front cross front uh crop top and it's a size large and again new with oops this just fell out again new without tag this is a size large I also grabbed one other item that is currently in the wash, um, but it's an Outdoor Voices pink tank top. I'll try and put a picture of it from the listing once I get it um, photographed. Um, but it's this cute pink long tank top um, from Outdoor Voices. So we'll see how that does. The comps are a little bit lower than I thought. I, I've never really researched the retail prices of Outdoor Voices too much. I know they were pretty pricey when they first started, but it seems like on Poshmark, the tanks can go in the 30 range. Um, it was $4. Anyways, it does have a little bit of discoloration, so I'm trying to get that out with some Shout and some OxyClean um, currently in the laundry. So we'll see how that comes out, but I was excited to grab that for $4. Okay, and then that's pretty much it, I think, for... The Goodwill haul, I showed you guys the gold boxes, and I wanted to show you what I grabbed at the uh, consignment store, my local consignment store. So it's right across the street, and we get 40% of whatever sells. And that can either be used as store credit or um, cash to, you know, just cash out. I had saved up, uh, I think, $29 worth of credit. When I go to the bins, I take whatever items that I'm gonna list personally, and divide my cost of goods amongst that amount of items. So if I get 50 items at the bins, let's say I get 50 items at the bins for $50, but I'm only gonna list 30 of those items myself and 20 items are gonna go to, to try and sell at the consignment store. 
I'll divide the $50 cost amongst the 30 items that I'm going to keep to list myself. So my cost of goods on each of my bins items is a little bit higher than it was in actuality. But because that cost is already accounted for in my spreadsheet, I can then take any of the credit that I get from that consignment sale as like bonus money basically. So I have zero cost of goods as long as I'm using the store credit. Um, I've kind of already accounted for that in my calculations. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense, but basically I just take whatever the consignment store credit is and put zero dollar cost of goods in my spreadsheet. So it's kind of like a bonus way to get extra profit. Um, so the first shirt I grabbed, this was $3, but again, I'm gonna put zero cost of goods, but this is a Shawn Mendes tour band t-shirt. Um, it's a size small and it's the official tour merchandise it looks like, 100% cotton. And it was in great shape, it just needs a wash and a lint roll, but I really love the rose graphic on it. Um, next up, I grabbed this one piece bathing suit. This is new with Tag. Um, this is the brand Cupshe, which I've heard from friends, people are liking the quality of this brand. I haven't tried it on or like used it personally, but it does seem like a really nice, high quality bathing suit for really reasonable prices. I think this retails around the $40 mark. I think they have sales and stuff, so it could go lower, but it has this like um, embossed kind of texture to it. And I just thought it was a really cute bathing suit. I found the model pictures for it and being new with tags, I think this was three or $4, but again, zero cost of goods there. And I also grabbed um, a few bras. Um, I like to sell Victoria's Secret bras. I've been doing pretty well with those, especially if they have something a little bit more special to them, like lace or a pattern. Um, so I grabbed this one. This is like an aqua kind of teal with the cream uh, lace and these little black bow details. And this was in really great shape. This was a 32 double D. This one is also a 32 double D. Let me get this right. Um, but it's this lace more like lingerie bra with, it has underwire, but it doesn't have any lining and it's a halter top. And it's this really pretty purple, deep purple color. Also grabbed another um, bralette that I will post on the screen that already sold, I think for 14 or 15. Um, but I just paid, I think $3 each for each of these bras. So the next piece I grabbed, I was actually really <laughs> excited to find this in the store. Wasn't familiar with this brand, but it was new with Tag and it just looked so high quality and I'm obsessed with this print. Um, if this was in my size, I 100% would have kept it. And at, I, after 30 days at my consignment store, things go on sale for half off and you can see the date on each of the tickets. I saw this for $14 or so, um, but the brand is Bahia, I think is how you would say it. Make me sorry with the light. There you go. So the brand is by Yeah. It has um, the little logo here, and it has the size here, size 22, and it has the size here as well, um, written out as a 22. Um, but at first, I saw it at the consignment store. It was $14, but I noticed that it was going to go on sale for half off in three or four days. So I just remembered that and. Um, went back. These bathing suits on their website retail for over $200, but they are so beautiful. I honestly would keep this if it was my size. I might buy one for myself full price because there are not a lot listed on Poshmark. A couple of things I wanted to note about this brand is that this is an Australian brand and these are Australian listed sizes. So it is a size 22 but it's Australian. So I think it's a US 18 or so. I have to check the listing, but they have size charts and conversions and everything on their website. So if you do ever find this brand, um, just make sure to be really clear in the listing if you're using the Australian size or the US size. Um, I've noticed on other listings of this brand that a lot of people are asking that and making sure they, they wanna make sure they're getting the right size that they intended to. So just be very clear about that. The other thing I wanted to know about this brand is that they are reversible, which is awesome. So you get all kinds of different styles. So you can have plain black or patterned and they have all kinds of really cute colors, prints, stripes, all kinds of stuff. I'll try and put a couple of screen grabs, but 
this um, particular piece, it looks like it's a one shoulder and I didn't notice this when I first went in, um, but this is actually not a one shoulder bathing suit. It's, um, it would go like this. I was like, wait a second, this looks like really low cut. Like how would you fit in there? And it's because it has another piece that crosses over the top. So I'll try and put a screenshot in there. So you cannot wear this by itself. So just be very clear if you do find pieces they are designed to mix and match and kind of like be reversible and you can tie them in different ways and they come with like different belts that you can tie with um, to make different styles out of them. This would be a perfect one to do that with because it is plain black. Anyways, just really wanted you guys to know about this brand. Keep an eye out for it. Um, they are reselling for a lot based on comps. I think it will sit for a little bit. Um, just because I think it will take the right buyer. I think when it does sell, I think it would be over $100. The last thing I grabbed was this J. Crew bikini top. Um, I would love to grab bathing suits that have tops and bottoms together, but this one didn't, but it was new with tag. It was just three or $4, but again, zero cost of goods. And it has this little zigzag, like rickrack kind of design and here as well and it's got like a little bit of a like texture to it um but it's this really pretty like coral color and um I just thought you know a plain coral could match with a lot of different colored bottoms whether you have black or white or navy or I don't know whatever kind of colors you want to mix and match with um but it is J. Crew. it's a size small and um I didn't realize that J. Crew bathing suits retail for like almost $98 just for the top um so anyways, we'll see what I can get for that. But I um, was excited to grab that for just a few dollars as well. Hey guys, jumping in. I just finished filming, but I forgot I grabbed this jumpsuit as well. It was hanging in the other closet. But um, it's this wide leg jumpsuit with this really cute floral pattern. And it's from American Eagle. New with tag. This was $7. It has this adjustable tie. So I definitely paid up a little bit for it, but I thought with the seasonality and the cute pattern, I think it should do well. So anyways, just wanted to show you guys that before I forget, hopefully it sells quickly for summer. Please like and subscribe if you like this type of content. Um, I have some what sold videos that I would like to do to kind of update you guys on how business has been going and what sales I've been getting. And I'm looking forward to sharing everything with you guys. And a lot of other Portugal videos are coming too if you like lifestyle content. So I have a different playlist of my lifestyle and vlogs. So there will be lots of different um, Portugal videos coming out as we go. Um, just trying to get all of them edited. I have lots of different footage all over my iCloud. So I had to figure out how to edit those. But um, they've been really fun to film and to just kind of give you guys a taste of our trip and if you have any interest in traveling to Portugal and to Europe in general um wanted to just kind of share with you guys our experience and some cool places you might want to see and visit and um a little taste of travel um which was really it was a really fun trip for us it was about two weeks and um yeah so we've been getting back getting back into the swing of things and um, just focusing on getting more inventory and selling. And uh, summer is here, so enjoying the nice weather also. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.